So here finally um, in its finished kind of state before the walls and boards go on or well, the, the enclosure is finished in the front and the sides. Not sure what I'm going to do there yet but uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, streamer, DAC, come PSU, all in one, it weighs about 65 kilos. Yeah, crazy heavy. I'll start at the bottom, the power supply over here. I got uh, 14 26650 cells um, for an 8 volt S2 configuration <clears throat> for the 8 volt rail on the uh, 1794 DAC. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, these cells will be increased to perhaps another another 24 cells at the bottom here to stabilize that rail. Feeds this um, UC UC uh, array here uh, again in an 8 volt configuration with a DC DC buck converter that's coming from the batteries. Uh, it's feeding this charger over here with a little bit of a heat sink on it because it gets really hot. Um, to this cut-in, cut-out relay. There's also a bypass um, bypass circuit here. So I uh, got a four-pole on-on uh, dual-throw switch that bypasses that 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 uh, cut-in, cut-out switch. Gives me a sort of uh, seven and a half volt to eight point four volt rail for this custom multi-chip DAC uh, at the moment I've only got four chips here this is, later on will be 32 uh, that's still in in uh, in construction but there it is um, that DAC is then fed from this in Canada um, Pi stack here again we got a FIFO Pi I left in the um, reclocker it makes a difference it, it does sound slightly better with a good power supply that's coming from a UC Pure 3.3 volt down the bottom uh, it's the one at the back there that one there oh no sorry it's this one here that's the 3.3 volt one let me just focus there that one and then we've got two 5 volt rails there feeds this block here and these blocks feed up that's the power supply side um, so we've got four uh, sorry three UC Pures at the back there two fives and one 3.3 the um, 3.3 is on the on the reclocker, and then I got a 5 volt on the 55 path Q7 here, and the analog uh, the audio side of the station Pi. That 5 volt rail on this uh, this side is fed from a um, a PSU on on these um, in Canada uh, Life PO4 packs there's one there and there's one over there obviously there's some spare uh, 3.3 volt rails this this um, this particular uh, life pure 4 here um, is has a 3.3 volt rail this one here coming out and then there's another one that is linked here for a 28 volt or a 15 0 15 rail that's feeding uh, this active RV stage over here um, it, the can't really see here. The, um, the transformers are from Ivan Basesic, uh, or however you pronounce his name, in Kazakhstan. He's actually made a five or six of them now for me. Um, so that's a one to twenty-nine uh, RV stage. Some homemade resistors, because uh, I found that they operate the best out of manganin, and some rubbish on the secondary side. As this is a not a really permanent. Uh, installation when I was using in Canada's um, ESS deck I had uh, Z foils Chalkrop Z foils on this on this board it was absolutely excellent um, and yeah so this will go out once the 32 chips are there and then I'll use this one which is a one-to-one -one passive um, and it's all impedance matched for my preamp over here but uh, yeah so that will be the new RB stage with the 32 32 uh, 1794 chips again all the power rails are here um, from downstairs down the bottom 
Um, yeah, and, and, and that's it. So I've got a, so just flip the switch here. It powers everything up. Uh, deactivates the charger for the, for the cells underneath. Um, these are all life pure, uh, these are all UC Pures. This is a 15 rail um, UC Pure for the Andre Mori clocks, which are there. Um, that's an 11 and a 12 um, megahertz clock. Um, yeah, uh, this this solution was actually very good because I can move everything. Everything moves in X and Y plane, and I can adjust it all with these quick releases if I need to move things up and down. Uh, yeah, so this four pole four pole, pole switch here is isolating the supply. Like I said, to this this batteries down here, it also um, powers up these pins on uh, this Lapia 4 to switch the two Lapia 4s on. Um, they've all got UC Pure on them, uh, uh, not UC Pure, all got cap, cap uh, filters on top of the batteries. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, really nice to have this thick aluminium, everything mounted on aluminium because it shields it all from the power supplies. It has made a bit of a difference there. I've got a uh, spit of coming in from a, a Technics transport down there. So the spit of comes in there and I've got a... Uh, I can't forget what this is called. But it's another one of the Canada's little goodies that you can select the input. Um, also got a Bluetooth module if I need to. If we have a party and some guys are running around with Bluetooth, play, well, it's a playlist from their phones, I can switch this on. It's got a separate power supply. It's not ideal, but from, from an audio file perspective, but it's off now. Um, if you want to use it, switch it on, connect things via Bluetooth. Put this into, into here. Well, put another one in here. Connect it via split off again. Away we go. Uh, this side, actually, this is the Pi here with its own external heated clocks. Um, works very well. It was a good upgrade. Recommend it. Um, yeah. Uh, and what you see is what there is. is all the in Canada bits. I kept the best parts and then made another deck there. Um, was, all of this was designed and and uh, and put to, uh, it was designed and the boards were were ordered from Fabian. A friend, a friend of mine, a guy I met in the audio audio uh, community. Um, I just we ordered the boards together, and he's also made a deck. Um, I think he's got 20 chips on his. Um, I will send a video. We'll post a video once I've finished constructing the the 32 chip uh, deck. Not the easiest thing to do, uh, but yeah, there it is. Um, screen running the Pi. It's a monstrosity, but it works very, very well. I'll eventually put a glass top like this one on top of here, and then close it in a bit more. But that's it.